How ironic would it be if Bitcoin ended up saving Deutsche Bank? Let's not bury the lead here, shall we? Dear prescient crypto asset investors, following BlackRock's foray into the Bitcoin ETF scrum last week, a number of other very large financial institutions followed suit. Consequently, with an amplitude of about 19%, Bitcoin closed last weekly candle up 16% on the week and leaving most American stock indices firmly and again in the dust. Welcome to the recap where we bring you the most important and interesting news nuggets of the week. According to a new study by leading on-chain analyst Glassnode, long-term hodlers, or Bitcoin addresses with a history of not selling, are adding about 42,000 BTC to their stacks every month. Considering that only 900 Bitcoins are produced every day, that's 6.25 every 10 minutes, so 6.25 times 6 per hour is 37.5, times 24 hours in a day is 900, times 30 days on average per month, that's 27,000 Bitcoins produced every month. Therefore, this trend could indicate that long-term hodlers, also known as diamond hands, are racing to scoop up any and all available supply in order to front run large institutions like BlackRock entering the space. Of course, that's me speculating, but whatever the actual reason, that's still 156% of new supply every month flying off the shelves. Hot cakes, friends! And who, you ask, were the others to enter the space besides BlackRock? Invesco and Wisdom Tree also applied, well, reapplied for a Bitcoin spot ETF, while a new institutional exchange backed by Fidelity, Charles Schwab, and Citadel Securities, huge players, although caveat, Fidelity started mining Bitcoin in 2013, so they are not new to the space. Credit where credit is due. And finally, last week, Deutsche Bank, <laughs> I'm sorry. Another deemed globally systemically important bank, or as you know, GSIB, who has been consistently teetering on the edge of full-on collapse or bank runs for the better part of the last decade and a half, has also applied to be a digital asset custodian in Germany. How ironic would it be if Bitcoin ended up saving Deutsche Bank? I wouldn't even be mad. I, I mean, I'd be impressed. Bitcoin's market share still leads the industry by a wide margin, about 50% dominance. As we mentioned, it ended the week up 15.65%, while Ethereum, following closely behind with a market share of 19%, closed its weekly candle just up above 10%. Check out the weekly recap at ndax.io forward slash blog for all the articles and more in-depth information. Start your